The idea here, Sandra, is to engage Democrats on some of the top priorities and maybe in the hope of finding a bit of common ground. Certainly for us, it's a chance to understand what the administration's priorities are. Let me just share just a bit of the bullet points, some of the ideas behind the budget for 2020. The the administration wants to curb spending. They obviously want to strengthen border security. But I talked about finding common ground. Here are some possibilities. National defense, combating the opioid epidemic, investing in education and America's students, modernizing government, and obviously caring for our veterans. But the big headline today will clearly be the border wall. The president looking for $8.6 billion to fund it, $5 billion from DHS, $3.6 billion from defense and military construction budget to complete 722 miles of border barrier, but he's also looking to invest more than $80 billion into veterans' health care and $2.7 trillion in spending cuts over a decade that would be higher than any other administration in history. So you could say trimming a bit of the fat in some areas to build up those in need of a boost. We believe the 3% growth rate of 2018 will continue in 2019 and beyond 2020 and so forth. I think uh, the other element is always to limit spending, and the president is proposing um, roughly a 5% across the board reduction in domestic spending accounts. It will be a tough budget. We're going to do our own caps this year, and I think it's long overdue. Some of these recent budget deals have not been favorable towards uh, spending. So I think it's exactly the right prescription. The right prescription and not a new or novel idea, this idea of cutting government in order to make it more lean and more efficient. We'll see what happens in the budget, Sandra. Kevin, so how different are these priorities that the White House is laying out different from previous budget requests? Yeah, I think that's a very good question. And I think the honest answer is not terribly, no, but there's a bit of nuance here. And I think it's important because the idea is to engage Congress, right? Now, this budget will force lawmakers to support some ideas that otherwise they maybe would prefer to bypass because there's real pressure here to give a little, to get a little. That's the give and take here inside the Beltway. Now, that doesn't mean, by the way, Sandra, we should expect any deal on the wall anytime soon. Uh, here's a Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi. Pelosi's statement, it reads in part, at a time when our country faces challenges about jobs for the future, this money, talking about wall funding, will be better spent on rebuilding America and on education and workforce development for jobs for the 21st century. Just got this nugget, by the way, from my colleague John Roberts. A uh, pretty controversial part of the budget calls for welfare reform, work requirements, 20 hours a week for those on Medicaid and public housing and receiving food stamps. Interesting. 11.30, we'll find out more, but for now, back to you.